Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim and this is the Farmhouse Craftaholics channel. I'm here today to make a cute little um, sign out of some Dollar Tree supplies and some of the reusable stencils that I sell over in my Etsy shop. So I will be linking that below, of course, and uh, let's get started. So I've picked up this little uh, frame sign with some glass on it from the Dollar Tree and I have some various uses for it, but this is what I'm doing today. All right, so we're gonna pull the back off. Hang on to that. You're going to need, I'm gonna keep all this stuff. Uh, and then I'm gonna take the frame of the glass out for now because I wanna trace the inside of the frame on my stencil so I have a good idea that it's, make sure it's going to fit when I'm ready to actually go ahead and stencil on this. And I will be stenciling on this. So this is a reusable stencil. You cut it on your Cricut or your, your Silhouette or any other cutting machine that you happen to have. And, and um, let me see here. So you can, it's an SVG file. So for those of you that know what I mean, if you own a Cricut or a Silhouette, I'm just doing this so that it fits inside the frame when I actually want to stencil. Um, it's not perfect and I'm not perfect and I never do perfect. So if you're looking for perfect and this is not the place for you, but if you're looking for really good and fun and great results, I hope this is the place for you. Um, so we are, I'm going to just trim this up so it's ready for the, when the next step happens. It does not have to be perfect, it's just an idea so it fits inside of the frame and then we're gonna put it back together and you will see why. All right, uh, like I say, we're on the Farmhouse Craftaholics page and Farmhouse Craftaholics uh, group on Facebook. So if you wanna, there we go. Uh, it's cut with a silhouette or, an, or a Cricut on your, with, you use an SVG file. This is what this is on Etsy. It's an SVG file and you import it into your computer program and you can make it big. You can make it small. You can make it whatever size suits your needs and then cut it on your uh, 65 pound cardstock or really thick scrapbook paper or poster board and make yourself a reusable stencil. This will be, I will be able to reuse uh, probably 20 times. So if you're into making signs or gifts for family, this is probably a great thing for you. So, all right, so we've got that done. I just want to pop that back in the frame. Put that over here for now. All right, off to the side. I'm gonna take this and inside the frame, I wanna put something more colorful than that, okay? I don't want that anymore. I want something so on using some scrapbooking paper I picked up at Michael's. It's their regular uh, Craft Smart brand at Michael's. And you, whatever scrapbook paper you have. Now this is like a card stocky type. And this was, I picked it up for Christmas and we used it for a bunch of crafts on the, uh, on the Farmhouse Craftaholics page. I'm undecided, I'm kind of thinking, do I want that? I'm gonna use this as a background. So I need it to be not too, too, uh, white because I'm gonna be stenciling white on it. I kind of like this one so I think I'm gonna try this. So I'm gonna pull this guy out and then I'm gonna use this as my template so I can just cut it down to fit inside the frame. Again, not gonna to have to be perfect. Sometimes good enough is good enough, right? One of the things that we crafters struggle with is perfectionism. And uh, it's a hard thing to beat, but it's not impossible. All right, so you can't see those lines, but I can. And it's just so you can cut this out, that's all. If you have one of those rotary cutters, you go ahead and use that. Um, I'm not that talented. <laughs> I'm a good old cut it up with some scissors kind of girl. I do have other big paper cutters and stuff that I use in my other business, but it's a giant paper cutter. It wouldn't fit on this table. <laughs> All right, there we go. Cardstock done. I am going to now slip this behind the glass into the frame, and I'm going to put everything back and close it up like that. So far pretty easy, right? That's what I'm hoping for you, that you'll think that and then you'll try it for yourself. All right, so now we have a cute little background. 
So make sure you know where your hanger is or your stand, depending on the frame you've chosen. Flip it back over. Yep, looks pretty good to me. Now we're gonna take our stencil, pop it in there, and we're going to stencil with chalk paint. And the reason we're doing it on top of the glass is so that it's removable. So with chalk paint, uh, mine's a homemade brand, but you can use whatever you like. Um, you can wash it off later on, or you can scrape it off with a, a razor blade, a, one of the stovetop scrapers, or the, what they call them, a window scraper, and it comes back off, and you can use this, use this again and again, kind of like that chalk couture thing, but without all the cost, okay? So, shh, don't tell them I said that. So, like I said, this is a homemade chalk paint. You use whatever it works for you. Um, I do teach stenciling, and I do have a stenciling, um, a little stenciling PDF over on my Etsy store. Um, so if you're not confident about the stenciling part, pick up the stencil. It's got pick up the little PDF. It's a it's a written document as well as a video linked, so that you won't have any trouble ever again stenciling anything, because it's really not hard. And the beauty of stenciling on this glass is if it doesn't work out that well, you take a little. Um, toothpick and scrape it off where the little bleeds are or you can uh, take a little q-tip and wash off where the little bleeds are which is not generally something you can do when you're painting on a sign so uh, it has its place so this is cute and all right so I'm gonna just dip that in there get this ready to stencil get that one out of the way now you notice I didn't tape it all the way around I never do, and I never teach my students to do, and I have taught many people to stencil. That's my business in my real life. Um, but I want you to see what's happening here. This is why we don't. See, it's starting to happen. And then we just drop that back down where it came from and carry on. This is probably gonna take a couple of layers, and that is true whenever you stencil. If you are trying to get it with just one layer, you are using way too much paint and that will be a problem it will cause your bleeding again it also depends on how uh, vintage you want it to look because the more um, see-through it is the more faded it looks the more it looks like it's been there for a long time and it's been weathered and on a wooden sign that's a really good thing um, especially on a farmhouse style sign which is our specialty and so as I say we have a page Facebook page farmhouse craftaholics come and join us we do lots of projects over there and then the group, which is the uh, social aspect of it, where you can get to know other farmhouse craftaholics like yourself and ask for help and um, be a help to somebody else. That's what that page exists for. And we'd love to have you. But this video won't be over there. I'm doing this one specifically for YouTube. It's a new venture for me. And I hope you like it. Now, because I'm using chalk paint and I'm going really lightly, this should dry very quickly. So you should be able to start the second round of color way, like it's probably dry enough now. Not quite. I think because I'm working on glass too, it's um, it's a little less, um, there's, it doesn't absorb into the wood like it would in the on the sign, it doesn't absorb into the glass. So you have to respect the fact that it's probably going to take longer to dry than it would if it was a wood sign. But the upside is, because it doesn't absorb into the glass, you can always clean it off and redo, or clean it off and do another one. Uh, so you can use the same frame um, for multiple different uses. So imagine where you could put it in the bathroom, you could change it up weekly or something. Um, just it all depends on your your mood and whatever you feel like making so let's just show you again where we're at see it's starting to show up understand all good put that back down keep going this doesn't work very well with 
plain acrylic paint. You definitely need a chalk paint uh, to grab the glass and make it a little more, um, a little easier for you. I'm watching somebody else paint, isn't it? <laughs> it's like watching paint dry. No, I'm, I'm more fun than that. At least I like to think I am. You should see me on my Facebook Lives when I'm interacting with people. So if you leave a comment below, I will definitely comment back to you. I'm just that kind of social person and I love to chit chat. And I love to hang out with people. So if you leave a comment, I will respond we are almost done I think I'm just going two rounds with this paint because I want it to look a little more vintage and a little more farmhouse you could go another round and make it more solid looking and one of the reasons I love using re reusable stencils as opposed to the vinyl stencils is that I can keep checking on that um, while I'm working on it and I can decide if that's enough or if I want to keep going. Um, so it's totally your call. Let's check it again. Let's see how we're going. I think that's good. I think we're ready. So I want this to be vintage. And I think we got there. So there we go. Can you see that? Home sweet home. Super simple, super easy. If I don't like the background, if I think the background's uh, a bit too busy, and I think this might be, I can definitely change it out again. Now I haven't painted on the cardstock. I've only painted on the glass. So I can move, uh, put a darker background behind it and call it good. So that's it for today. I hope you'll join us over on our Facebook page, Farmhouse Craftaholics or the Farmhouse Craftaholics Club Glue Group, Ugh, sorry. <laughs> All right, and I will link the Etsy store below uh, for this particular stencil, and there are more there, and there's the, the uh, PDF if you wanna learn how to stencil with no trouble so that you don't have any bleeding and you don't have any trouble stenciling in the future. So cheers to you all, have a great day, bye-bye.